everybody. Can you guys do me a favor? Can you keep the taps going and come down? I appreciate that. Hello. 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 Thanks for the keeping those taps going. I appreciate that. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, Chef from Florida. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. We appreciate that. Thank you. About the radio, Michelle. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm good. How you guys doing? Hi, Paco. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your, your dedication and helping out. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Can you guys do me a huge favor? As I'm doing this, can you guys keep those taps going though? I appreciate that. Hi everybody. Sorry to hear that, Robert. Hello everybody. Thanks, Nella. Yeah, I always say that every week, but it's, I don't know, it gets annoying with, the, with, the, with these people that come on here that imitate me all the time. Hello. Thank you for tapping. So, there, um, just so you guys know that there are um, people from Nigeria or other countries that come on here that take my videos, my, my pictures and stuff, and they try to pretend to be me to scam people. So, I want you guys to be um, on alert for that because I can't control that. That's on TikTok. They know what's happening, but they don't do anything about it. So, do not allow, I mean, just be careful. I don't bother people for readings. I don't follow you. And I don't use words like hun and um, sweetie and stuff like that when I bug people for readings. Because like, I don't bug people for readings. I don't message you for readings and anything like that. So, they're always on here. They're, every day I'm trying to um, block two or three a day. But sometimes like, they're out of hands and I, and I can't get to them. Because what they do is they, they block me after they copy my account and my pitch and everything and then they just move on to, to there's just so many of them out there so I can only do so much hi everybody but don't get don't get scammed is all I can say if you get scammed I, I, it's not set of my hands there's nothing I can do about it just be smart oh it's always happens happens to everybody that gets that gets um, have a lot of numbers on their pages it's irritating thanks though So, and all you new people that are just joining, I am more of a medium than a psychic. Um, this is called automatic writing, and people with um, trance medium, not trans, I'm sorry, trance medium, not trans, trance medium, which means I go through a partial trance when I'm doing my readings. Um, and when I zone out, then I'm able to see things through my third eye, and then I'm able to deliver the message. That's how I do it. Hello, everybody. That's how I deliver the messages to, uh, to you. And, um... I'll give validation of what your loved one looks like and tell you what they look like. I'll like sometimes I can see behind them, sometimes I can see their pets. I'll tell you um, things only you two would know that I would not know. That's how I do readings. A lot of people come on here to watch and they enjoy it. Some people, thank you guys, um, join in. Why do I do it on here? Why not? It's a gift. I give my gift on Sundays. I give my gift out all the time. A good medium should be giving out free readings. Why shouldn't I? If you're not, if you're claimed to be a medium and a psychic, you should be giving out free readings. If you're not, then I wouldn't trust you. That's just me. I don't trust mediums that don't give out free readings, and I don't trust psychics that don't give out free readings. This is a gift. Yeah, I get paid for it. I do get paid for it for private readings, but. One day a week, I go out, um, I give out a lot of free readings on during my radio show on here and on um, evenings. So 
That's why I do it. I don't trust other mediums that don't do for readings because that just tells me something else about them. That's just me, though. Um, thank you. So, um, how I do this is I don't control how, what TikTok does on here. They post, um, so you have supposedly things, thanks for the gifts. They're supposedly, you're supposed to have a thousand, um, followers on to, to join in on a, on a video. I don't control that. You guys, that's a TikTok thing. Um, if you, if, if you know somebody that's got a thousand followers and you want to join in on one of these, maybe you can get on their account or go to their house and maybe they'll let you join in when I do this, one of these on Sundays. Um, I don't know why TikTok has those rules. It's, I don't. I think it's really stupid and you ask me, but they do. And um, what else do you need to know really quick? I don't control, I, I mean, I don't connect with babies. I don't connect with toddlers, so please don't ask me about that. I don't connect with animals. I'll see them on the other side, but I don't know how to connect with them yet. And I don't connect with anybody that's passed away before 30 days. So, and people that are going to be coming on my, my live feed, if I've done a reading for you before, whether it be a phone reading or on here, please step aside. I want this to be for people that haven't had a reading with me yet. That's how um, that's how I do it. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one private reading, just message me under my bio, right there. Thanks for the gift. Message me under my bio and um, click it, like and follow Facebook my Facebook page. Message me, and after I'm done, I'll schedule a reading with you. No big deal. I mean once. Can you, see, can you see me? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Paul. What's your name? It's Jill. Have you, have I had, have you had a reading with me before? No, I've been on the list like for the last six weeks and I could never get the camera to work. Okay. Thank you guys for the gifts. And um, who would you like me to connect with today? Um, Elaine, E-L-A-I-N-E. -E. Last name, Keenan, K-E-E-N-A-N. Keenan? Keenan. And she said this is your mom? This is my mom. Sorry for your loss. How long has it been since she's crossed over? 2020. Okay. So understand that when I connect with your loved one, they're going to show themselves looking young. They won't look like you remember her when she died. She's going to tell you what you need, not what you want to hear. So I don't know how the reading's going to go. I just go with what I'm getting. Okay. okay. She never got to say goodbye to you the way she wanted to, and she's saying that when she passed, it was easy for her. She didn't feel anything. I'm sorry, the last part when and she's she passed. Three of disease. What? Did you say when she passed, she? I didn't hear what you said. I don't remember. So when I do these readings, like goes through me, and I don't remember a lot of things. So I'm trying to remember. I think she said she's three of disease or something, or what she had. So okay. Whatever. So I'm sorry, I can't. It's hard for me to go back when okay. they talk because I allowed them to work through me. Okay. But I'll try my best at the moment. Um, she's been known to leave pennies or something right below your feet when you're walking. You see. Dreams. Robins and um, ladybugs. So ladybugs would more re represent that she like probably working in the yard or her garden at one point. Oh, sorry, my dog's playing at this toy.
You stop. Sorry, my dog's playing. That doesn't bother me. I have one that does the squeakies all the time. When your mom was younger, she had like brown hair. It was curly, right? Yes. It's like, I know she comes to me from another time, but this dress she's wearing is like yellow, like with dots on it, like polka dots or dots or something on it. And she's smiling. Mm -hmm. Your mom used to wear perfume. Yeah. Do you smell that? Sometimes. You have your mom's earrings? Earrings? Did she, what did she give you a set? Yeah, I have. Um, no, I don't have her earrings. No. Did she give you a set? No. Okay. I've seen earrings for some reason. It's okay. Your mom and dad live in the, um, out in the country in a modest house in heaven. That's how she said it. Oh, she's with my dad? Hmm. Understand that in heaven, everything is forgiven. They have worked things out. There's no, there's no remorse. I mean, there's no hate. There's no anger. There's no divorce or anything like that. It's things things you always seem to work out. Not all the time, but it seems like a lot of times I connect with people. They're always with their spouses. Your mom says that she loves you and she wants you to continue to talk to her. Is there something you want to say to her before she goes? Yeah, I want her to validate if. I, um, does she remember right before she passed away, 20 minutes before she passed away, my visit and what? what so I, here's the thing with spirit that's called testing spirit. If you know the answer and she knows the answer, I'm not going to go there because that will shut the reading down really quick. Oh. And it's not me. It's up heaven because it's a different vibration up there. When we test spirit like that, they won't, they won't. That's how some mediums get stuck because people throw those questions out. Well, you, oh. If you know the answer and they know the answer, it'll, it'll and they get stuck. That's oh. called testing spirit. So that you, that's why I'm, that's why you get a reading. They're going to tell you what you need, not what you want to hear. Does that make sense? Does she remember me being there? Um, she was on end of life care, and I couldn't, yes, I sure. couldn't visit her. She says you were holding her hand. Yep. And the only other thing I wanted to know was if. Uh, She's with my grandfather. Her father. Yeah, you live right next door. She said they're all together. They're all the same age. Yep. She goes, I love you, sweetie. She's living goodbye. Okay, thank you, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you for everything you do for everybody. It's very kind. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh god, I gotta hit a button. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hey, what's your name? Comfort. Oh, sorry. I did a reading for you earlier. I'm waiting for other people to join I know. in. I know. I couldn't hear a thing through the radio station. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you going to post the ones from the radio station? I don't record those. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. 
Thank you. What's your name? Jason. And who do you like me to connect with? Uh, my mom. <clears throat> Sorry for your last. What is her first and last name? Uh, her first name is Diane. D I A N E. Last name is Johnson. Sorry, how long has it been since she's crossed over? Uh, 2007. It's been a while. So sometimes when it's been a while, you know, when we're mourning, when it's, that's usually like right after a spirit passes away, they do a lot to let us know they're around. So like when mm -hmm. we're mourning and stuff, we may or may not remember everything. So I'm going to try my best to whatever she's got to pull through. Okay. So what happens is sometimes people will say at that point, well, probably, maybe, maybe not. I don't think so. When they get to that point, they literally will block their own reading. They get too, like, um, skeptical at that point. Just because okay. we don't remember doesn't mean that. I know spirits don't lie a lot, so I just know, like, I'm just going with what they're telling me. But if okay. anything else doesn't sound right, let me know, okay? Because that could be another thing. It's like, things, spirit might be jumping in or somebody else coming through. Let me see. So your mom will show herself looking young. Your mom comes forward and she's apologizing to you. She's saying that she wasn't the best mom when she was younger. That's true. I didn't do the things I should have as a mom. I need you to forgive me. My actions were my choice. There's nothing, no excuses. I own up to it. That makes sense. I didn't do this, these things because I hated you or I hated anybody. I just did this because of who I am. So I'm, I don't know if it's because your mom had a personality disorder, she had mental illness, I don't know. So she she's just saying she's only enough to something. But she made the choice. Does that make sense? Yeah. She says, either way, I love you unconditional, and I'm sorry. When your mom was younger in her 20s, did she have, like, light blondish brown hair or light brown hair, medium length, straight? She did, yeah. Right here. Yeah. That makes sense. She's a t shirt and jeans kind of a lady. She was younger. Yep. So it's my dog. Your mom, she visits you in dreams, but she also tells me she's been known to knock things off ledges, things or things have fallen off tables or something. Something's been falling. I don't know if you remember that. She just things are falling. That was her way of saying she was there. <clears throat> you have a dining room. Yeah. Oh, like okay. So she said that she's messed with the lights in the dining room. That's how she said it. So the lights might have been blinking at some point. There's only for there's me to know. One, there's one light right outside of the dining room. It's in the same room, but it's right outside that does kind of dim on its own. It's weird. She would come to you either as a blue jay or a crow. Now, the crow would represent, um, I mean, if you have to look at these animals' personality, it might fit your mom. Crows are either quiet or they're loud. The, the, the black of the color of the bird says that they're, that's that she has a resilient personality. Um, she might have been a spiritual person because Native Americans believe that the crows were also one of the uh, messengers between, you know, the creator and down here. Um, 
crows, when they eat, they call the birds eat with them. That tells me your mom wasn't a selfish person. Does that sound like your mom? They're very intelligent, too. Yeah, yeah definitely. So pay attention to the crows or the ravens when they're screaming at you. And you feel like, you know, that it's your mom's visit. Sometimes it's not, but you'll know when it's, you just know when you, you see it, you feel it. Okay. What does your mom mean by when she's saying, I need him to forgive me because he was telling me the truth when he was a kid? And I would say that he wasn't. I don't know. What's this? Um, she says, please forgive me for that. He might, I don't know if you know it now, but there was, maybe it'll come back later, but um, maybe it's buried, but I'm just saying what she's telling me. Okay. Did your um, aunt have a kid that passed away? Because how she said it, she says, I'm up. I go, what does your private heaven look like? She goes, I'm up in the mountains. I live in a cabin up with my mom and my sister's kid. She had a, she had, I had a sister that was like a year older than me that passed away when she was three. Um. I don't know about. I wonder what you meant by that. Sisters mm -hmm. and ten. Maybe I heard it wrong. Maybe it was a sister. I don't know. I'm sorry. Sometimes when I get this, it could be something else. You know, I'm just getting what I'm getting. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm real with my readings. I'm not going to lie and deceive people and say it was this or that. I'm human. Right. I get what I get. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Your mom says she's always been grateful for everything you've done for her in her life, but she just asks that you please forgive her. And she's very proud of you. Was there something awesome. you want to ask her to say to her? No, that was that was going to be one of the questions was, was she proud of me? Um, but she answered that. Is she with my stepdad? He passed away two years later, pretty much the same way. Yeah, they're all together. She goes, yes. Well, man, he's up there. He made it. Cool. Did that awesome. help you? Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, I really did. I appreciate that. Hope you got some healing from that. Thank you. I did. Thank you. You're welcome. And you guys, that's how I do readings. You get validation. And that's how I do it. Validation is the truth. So, I mean, even if I make mistakes, I'm like, I told this gentleman I made a mistake. You know, I'm human. I don't know, but that's the message I got. And um, so if you guys are interested and you want to schedule a reading with me, just message me um, under my bio. A half hour, 65, an hour is 125. I can schedule a reading with you as soon as I'm done. No big deal. Let me see here who the next person is. What's your name? Okay, this is tricky. My name is Ray Anna, but it's spelled R A E A N N A. Okay, and you're old enough to be on here? Yes, I do look young, but I'm old enough, yes. Okay, so you're over 18? Yes, I'm 21. Okay. Yeah, you do look young. All right, so Rayana, who would you like me to connect with? Uh, it's my boyfriend. His name is Andrew Ward. Ward? Ward? W A R D. Andrew Ward? Yes. Sorry for your last How long has it been since he's crossed over? Uh, a little over two months. Thank you. 
So you guys do me a favor. I need you guys to keep those taps going. Um, otherwise, I'm going to probably get off here soon. If you, your taps are the only thing that's going to keep me going here. Um, please share the video. I appreciate that. Thank you. Can we kiss and then go out there and play? <laughs> Mom. I know, buddy. Mom, why is it about you? You need to go out there, please. Why are they, are they I'll kill? come out in just a minute, okay? Why are they kill you? Okay. Sit oh. right here, then. Oh, they're on the trail. He told me what happened to him. It was quick. He didn't react. He had no time to react. It was so quick. He didn't feel anything. You understand that? Yes. Was this an accident, I'm assuming, then? Yes. Hi, hi. This is his kid? Yes. Because he says, I've never given up on you with the baby? Yep. Uh, I'm on more satchel. Yeah, I tried, Dad. I tried. That baby knows when the dad's oh, around because the baby reaches up for the for the dad, and the baby's smiling. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So he he says, "I'm never gonna give up on my baby." I know. Keep going. Like that baby will sit there, and you watch the baby. It'll no. You can see when the dad's walking around. The the baby's eyes will move around. Yes. He has like full blown conversations almost. With the dad? Yeah. I, I believe that because there's validation right here with that. That's mine. I want to do it. Hold on one second. I want to do it, Mom. So it's interesting with spirits. They always try to find, like, they'll find ways of letting you know they're around. It's always the back of the neck or the head or the arm. Has that happened to you? Because he's telling me that's what he's doing. Like, he's trying to let you know. And I know this part's sensitive. See, people feel that. That's why they do that. Yeah, I get cold chills a lot and almost feel like a hand. Yeah. Okay. You can call me, but you need to be quiet, okay? I'm done, Mom. He lays with you in bed sometimes to help comfort you because you still cry for him. He hears you. Yeah. I actually, I don't sleep it in our bed. Okay, stop, please. I don't no more chat on me. Was he cremated? Yes. You know, I'm seeing that because I'm seeing him grabbing, like, dirt or ashes, and it's coming from his fingers, and that's a sign of cremation. Yes. Yeah, say yeah. Yeah, I actually have his ashes right here. Oh yeah, you don't have to tell me too much. He's probably gonna tell me. Yeah, I'd never. Yeah, I'd never tell me too much because I'll, yeah, I'll let him work the way way through it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's okay. probably what he was trying to show me too that you have the ashes because it's part of the validation of any of the reading anyway. Right. Hello. Oh, I try not to Hold on, let me try one thing. I try. So he looks like uh, they always look like really young in my vision. So he was like a um. He was kind of a taller guy, right? A little bit taller guy. I don't know. It seems maybe he's slender. Because all these slender guys always look like they're as tall to me in my vision. Huh? Uh, slender, but he wished he was taller. <laughs> okay. But he's, he wears a hat. Yes. Light brown hair. So wears a hat. Is that yeah. him? Yeah. I can't say it's a tree ball. There's a tree ball there. I seem like he's wearing the t-shirt, but it's like a button-up coat. Like a like I don't know if it's a gin coat or if it's like a um what do you call it? like a car hard coat. I can't explain it, but I know it's like one of those coats, not a thick coat. It's like a coat or a jacket. Not I mean more like a jacket instead of a coat. It's Sorry. yes, I don't want to give you too much, but I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Can I do one thing? Okay. I do want that too. Well, you guys talking about you guys were talking about getting married. I was talking. <laughs> he was thinking he's talking about the wedding band. Thank you guys for the gifts. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he was. Um, you think he was going to surprise you with this wedding band or something before this happened? 
Could be. Your turn now. Okay. He keeps apologizing because he said this accident and he didn't see it coming. Wait, say that again? Sorry. He keeps apologizing because he said this accident and he didn't see it coming. If you guys want to guess. Yeah. My dog and his toys. It's okay, I have a toddler. He's laughing because he says he makes messes like his kid. He goes, it ain't always my kid making messes. It's me because I'm the one pulling things off tables and ledges and stuff. Yeah, it's been ridiculous. So tell him thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's paying or blaming the kid for it. This is toy ball, man. Oh, mommy. This is my toy ball. Mm-hmm. Keep coming. So you said in nature he would come to you as a buck deer. A buck deer would represent a couple things. It could represent that he liked a hunter, like he was a hunter, or he like was an outdoorsman, spent all the time. Or it could also represent that he was like a leader of his family. Um, these kind of buck deers are strong. They look around. They're always on alert. They're they're, they're kind of leaders. Does that make sense? Yeah. Protectors. Definitely. The eagle is a very strong bird, the one, the strongest bird, thank you guys, that are out there, you know, and again, Native Americans believe that's like the closest one to the creator. Um, these birds are very strong, they're powerful, they're providers, and their kids and their families come first. Mm-hmm. You know, they're always they're just right in and they're out. I got, I got chills. So what I was seeing, I saw, I saw, I saw the image behind him, and it was a beautiful house, but behind it was a big beautiful barn. And at that same time, I said, "What does your private heaven look like?" He explained that, and then I saw a barn Mama, like, again, like what he just saying. Oh, and I got the chills. Mama, so that's where he's. Oops, that's where he's created. That's where he created his heaven. I believe yeah. it. You guys have a song together. Yes. Is it a country song or something? Yes. Yeah. And he says that he also comes to, um, he visits you in dreams. Yeah. He's so, he says, I'm so sorry. And he goes, I want you to know I am doing everything I can up here that I can, because you guys have free will and we can't get through that. Whatever I can do to help you and the, my baby out, I'm going to do whatever I can do. He goes, I'm never going to leave you. Thank you. Because I just hope that you keep always remembering me and always talking to me because I'm never going to leave you either way. Because I'm not worried about you because I know you're going to always tell my kid who I am. Always. And I tell my kid I'm always going to be with him. Thank to you. Live because we'll talk soon. Does that sound like him? Yes. Did that help you? Yeah, it did. Am I allowed to tell you about the jacket now? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It, you said like a big jacket. He, um, he in his accident, he was on a motorcycle. So he was wearing a motorcycle jacket. Oh, interesting. Was it like a button up or like a thin zip, like a zip up or something? It was a zip up, yeah. And it was... Yeah, yeah, it wasn't until it was a jacket. That's so interesting. The, yeah. thing, in, the, the thing at the beginning of the reading, he said it was the impact was so quick he didn't attempt to react. So I knew yeah. it was some kind of accident. Yeah, and that, yeah, there was no, he was literally like five minutes away from our house. So there was no, he was on his way home. There was no reaction whatsoever. It was very quick. Sorry. Thank he, you. Well, I've seen him. He looks healthy. He looked young. He was smiling. He's a very happy person. Yeah. Your turn now. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for validating that. I'm yeah, thank you so much. Mom. I'm try. I'm try.
thank you guys for sharing the video. You guys, I appreciate you guys sharing the video. Thank you for all the taps. Thank you guys for the, um, you know, the gifts as well. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks, moderators, for coming on and helping me out again tonight. I appreciate you guys as well. You guys are always doing a lot on here that um, sometimes I get so busy I don't say thanks enough for you guys. So thank you so much. I got some good moderators around here. They're always dedicated and they're always helping me out. Because without them, I would not be able to do this kind of work, honestly. I wouldn't be able to. Because um, I'd be so distracted with people's, you know, crap on here. You know, the trolling and stuff. So I have some good moderators on here. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hi. Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. How old are you? 21. Okay. And what's your first name? Saraya. S-A-R-Y-A. -A. And then who you want to connect with? Ephraim. E F R. A -I -A. Your friends? Ephraim, E F R A I N. Centron. What's last name? Centron, C I N T R O N. And then relationship? Grandpa. Sorry if your last long has been since he's crossed over? Over six years. Okay. So he's going to look young. He won't look like you remember him, okay? Okay. So Efron Citron? Yes. He just wants you to know that everything is fine, that he, him and his old buddies are always going out and traveling. When he was younger, did he have facial hair like a mustache? Dark yes. brown hair, black hair? Okay. It's like a short sleeve button up white collared shirt with him and he's smiling. Sorry, my dog's plant this way. He loved to go traveling, loved the outdoors, loved his family. He was big on his culture, correct? Yes. Because I'm seeing him and a whole bunch of people dancing, and there's something like a cup or something being, I don't know, they're dancing with the cup. So I know it's something with the culture, if that makes sense to you. Your grandpa said you became a lot angrier. Thank you guys for the gift. You became a lot angrier, and she, you need to start learning to forgive because you too, you hold too much um, anger in this area. Like, you lash out at people, and he sees that. He says you better practice to forgive. That's what he keeps saying. He goes, tell her that. It isn't, this gentleman is not much of a talker. I can pick that up already. He's either quiet yeah. or it's his personality. Yeah. He, he was so, very quiet. So I don't know. Like when I get to these people that are like this, I don't know what to say half the time. I'm always trying to, like, it's like pulling teeth sometimes. I'm finding what I can do. But hold on. He has a beautiful big mansion that he lives up in heaven with his family. There's one dog with him.
he just asked him if he has any other messages, and he says, just tell her what I told her, because that's what she needs to work on, I guess. So I don't know if he's working coming to you as one of your spirit guides. It sounds like he is. That's how they talk. So maybe if that's the guy that's jumping in your head sometimes, just telling you you need to, you know, let things go. Does that make sense? Can I, can I, yes. Can I ask something? Yeah. Does he know when, like, me and my mom and my sister, when we were there at the hospital with him? Just saying thank you because he was never alone. You guys helped him. They, they don't, again, they don't, they don't like us to remember them that way. Because that's not where he's at. That hurts yeah. us. Does that make sense? Yes. You and your family has got to find a way of getting through that to remember the good times and not how we died. They worry about us when we do that. It's like, it's like I love you, my little chickadee or something. He goes, I'll talk to you later. And he's saying goodbye. <laughs> Did he give you names like that? No, because he was very quiet. And he was quiet. Yeah, that's what he told me to tell you. Did that help you? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. One second here. Thank you, guys. So if you guys want to um, schedule a reading with me, all you have to do is message me, um, private message me um, under my bio. There's a link you can click there. And after this, I can schedule a reading with you. I only do free readings when I do um, when I'm live, not when I'm not in messengers. <clears throat> Let me see here. The next person is. Thanks for the gifts. Appreciate it. Hello. Hello. There we go. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing all right. Have I done a reading for you before? No, sir. Okay. What's your first name? Martha Jean. Do you want me to connect with? My daughter. Sorry for last. How old was she when she passed? Fourteen. And what was her first and last name? Elizabeth. Jacobson, J A C O B S E N. Sorry, how long ago? Oh, sorry for your loss. How long has it been since she's crossed? Three months. Okay. So give me one moment and see if I can connect with her. I am sorry I left you without saying goodbye. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I didn't expect myself to go this way, the way I went. You understand what she's saying? I do. So this was quick. It was. She keeps saying, I keep getting the word quick, huh? Yes, it was quick. So she didn't feel anything then? I was told no. So your daughter's a noisemaker when she visits the house. <laughs> yes. She's, I said, I go, what do you do when you come to visit your mom? And she goes, I like to slam things, whatever that means. I don't know if she's slamming doors or she things falling really loud. Whatever it is, she's, she likes to make the noise. That's, I know she's a noisemaker. Yes. And she likes to play jokes because she moves things from one room to the other because you have a thing a certain way and you might find it in another room. Like, how did that get there? And then people get blamed. Yes. And then she's laughing, but she doesn't want nobody in trouble. Yeah. She thinks it's funny. <clears throat> she visited you in dream or dreams, but she just also says that she also um, comes down to the music that you play for her in her memory. So when you do, every time we think of them, we talk to them, we talk about them, they're always here. Okay. Well, 
What's going on with the necklace? Was there something that was made in her memory? Ashes or her fingerprint or something? Or Yes. I have a necklace sitting in my, on my dresser. It was made for her. Okay. So this is validation. There's no way for me to know that. This is her way of just saying that this is her, that you know it's her. And then I see like a little stuffed animal really quick. Right when I just looked over this way, there's a stuffed animal. I don't, not very big. Medium size. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. So I don't know if it's a teddy bear or the arms can go like this. I don't know how to explain it. It was so quick through my vision. I just got to throw it out what I'm seeing. So that's okay. something with that the stuffed animal that you understand what she's talking about. Okay, dragonflies with her and blue jays are bluebirds, so pay attention to those. Okay. She says, I'm always going to be the one with the, as a dragonfly. Did she like fishing, or did she like being near water or on water or anything like that, or boating or anything? She loved going to um, our river walk that we have. Okay, so there's validation there. Yeah, um, she's got like brown hair, dark brown hair. I can't really see it, but anyway, it's kind of like wavy, not too wavy, but a little wavy and like medium length. Is that her? No, she had long hair. Okay, interesting. Right. So this girl, whoever's this girl's jumping in, this girl, I think she's she's wearing a t-shirt and like 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 the straps are like a suspender or something. I don't know what that is. Is that her or is it somebody else? She did have a tank top on. Okay, I'm not. Um, so I'm just going to go forward with this because that can mean that if that this could mean that another spirit is jumping in that you might be knowing that's jumping in because that portal is obviously open between us at this point, and you okay. mean I've got closure from somebody that's jumping in. So that usually happens when I ask the spirit to show themselves, or um, I'll tell them to tell me what they look like. That, that's usually when somebody <laughs> else will jump in. Okay. Yeah, it's just, you're, does she do this sometimes? Yes. Yes. So this is her then. This is the one I'm seeing. That's your daughter. That's her. Okay. Sure. She's got piercings, she tells me. And she's she wears necklaces and earrings and things, correct? Yes. That's her. She's got a really pretty smile and she's just sitting there like I see her like, um, you know, like she's sitting there with her hands over her knees and she's just sitting there like on this hill smiling at me. That's why I see her. Where is she? Okay. There's a dog with her. Um, I want to say a smaller dog, brown and white. And then she, um, she tells me she's got a cat too. She says, <laughs> she says she has a cat, one cat and one dog. Okay. Are these hers or somebody else that passed away that she's watching? Um, it might be somebody else's. I'm trying to think of who, though. She loves me. Uh, so she loves music and she loves to dance. Yes. Yes. Very much so. She likes art. She's just, she was a good kid. Like, she didn't, like, she was a free spirit. She didn't care what yes. people thought of her. No, not at all. And that's the way, that's, that way is the best way of living. Because when you get to that point in life, that means you're more free than feeling, you know, confined by what everybody else thinks about you. So she was living her free life the way she wanted to. Very colorful. Yeah. 
when I come to visit, she knows it's me because sometimes I'll leave things behind. I said, well, so you leave behind. She goes, feathers, because feathers are like, um, that's my way of saying I was here. And also, yeah. I just tell someone on the radio, feathers would represent like not to be so hard on yourself. So when she's doing that, when you see that, maybe you were hard on yourself that day. And just a message she's saying, you know, don't take so things so hard on yourself. You understand that? Yes, I do. Uh-huh. She kisses you on the cheek a lot when she visits you. Aww. She's very. I don't know if you felt the tap yet, but she's always kissing you on the cheek. I have a couple of times, yes. She was. I love you, Mama. I love her too. She has a. She tells me she's got a beautiful house that looks over a river, and she loves the view. That's. That is definitely her. What's what's going on with that? Is there? Does she have like a house, like a dream, like that? She's always had a dream of having a house looking over the river. Wow. Yeah. That is and, crazy. <laughs> she, that's uh, her house. She always told me, no matter where she goes, that says she's gonna find it. Well, she so definitely found it because she's got it in heaven. There's no way for me to know that. That that's awesome. She's where she's supposed to be then. She goes, tell my mom I love her and everything is going to be okay. She goes, she talks to me all the time. I love you, mama. She's waving goodbye. Oh, bye, Elizabeth. Does that help you? Yes, a lot. You got a lot of validation there. Thank you, Carla, for the gifts. You got a lot of validation there. Yes. Thank you. Let me ask you a quick question. I, I can't imagine losing your daughter, but did that help? A little bit with the pain to know yes. that she's in a better place? Yes, a lot, actually. I always feel bad for the people that lose their kids. I can't imagine the pain because it's worse, I think, than any pain that anybody well, can do. And I'm not a parent. It, I'm just glad it was quick because, you know, electrocution is no fun. Oh, no. So it was, I don't know how she didn't really tell me, but um, at the beginning, she said it was quick. Like, she didn't feel anything. Yes. Um, during the storm three months ago, um, her and her friend went outside after the storm, and we didn't know there was a down power line in the tree, and when the wind blew, it blew it out of the tree, and it hit her. Ooh, that's weird. That's like a freak accident. Yes. So sometimes yeah. when we get, when you hear these things, it's not like, things like this, and it sounds, looks horrible to us, and it's just an awful thing. We, we, we go through our mind. You can't always remember them that way, obviously. You gotta remember <laughs> how to live. But right. sometimes these things happen because our time is up. You know what I'm saying? She might have been in good health, but God, God gives. We never know when we're going to go. You hear little kids passing away for no reason. You're, you know, we just die at different times. You never know. You know, it's, I don't know God's ways, and I. But I think it was just so much. She came down and she gave people love. People learned from her from something, and she did what she had to do. And God called her back home. Yeah, she I even that. even after death, um, she was still giving because she was a donor. So, I, God bless her. Yes, yes, that's awesome. You have a good. You raised a good kid. Thank you. I did my best. God bless you too. Thank you. You're a good mom. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate that. See if somebody's coming on. Thank you. Thank you guys for the gifts. You guys are too nice. Thank you. Magdalene, are you there? Yes. I'm Is that her name? My camera. I can't hear if she's on there or not. Thank you guys for the, you know, the nice gifts on there. You guys are too nice. Oh, she must have disconnected. All right. I'll try somebody else here. You lay down. I'll be open in a little bit. You lay down. What you want something? Hello. Hi. Have I done a reading for you before? Yes, sir. Okay, you look familiar. What's your first name? Danielle. 
Sorry, my dog's not just right. Danielle, who would you like me to connect with today? Uh, my mother, her first name is Sheila. And the last name is kind of long. It's W-O-O-L. Wait, how do you pronounce it first? Wooldridge. Wooldridge? Yes, sir. Uh, I can do that one. Oh. And sorry for your loss. How long has it been since your mom's crossed over? Uh, nine and a half years. Nine and a half? Yes, sir. So even though it's been a long time, Danielle, so you're going to understand that... Um, when, you know, after somebody dies, the spirit comes to visit and they do a lot of things, let us know they're around and it kind of slows down and it's been, and we're going through a grief process. So when she says she's going to be, like she's done certain things to let you know she's around, sometimes it's been a long time. We don't remember all those things. Right. And what happens is some people will say, well, probably could have happened. And then they get to the point where probably not. When they start doing that, they block themselves out of that reading. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, they get too skeptical at that moment okay. and, and that ruins their reading. But um, if anything else doesn't sound right, let me know. But just try to be open at least to that point. Because I know spirits don't lie. It's just hard for us to remember those things, even though it's been so long and when we're grieving. Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir. Any, anything else doesn't sound right, just give me a heads up, okay? Okay. So Sheila Wildridge, right? Yes, sir. Thank you. So she will show herself looking really young when I catch, when I, when I, when she shows herself to me when I ask her. Is there something going on with your mom in pain medicine or something? Yes. She was. There's a way for me to know that. You don't have to tell me. She goes, I need you to forgive me for the pain medicine. Yeah. How do I? There's no way for me to know that. Right. I knew better. I needed something to numb the pain. You carry that responsibility of your mom's death with you this whole time. And she's telling you to stop today because you always felt like you could have done better to get her to stop or to do something different. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. And she's telling me to tell you today's the day you need to let that go because it's not on. She's, she goes, you don't need to carry my cross. That was with me. I already taken care of that up here. Okay. She goes, you've done, you've, I know you would have done everything you could for me. Okay. But she's saying, I'm finally free of this addiction. I'm free of all of this. No more pain. Okay. Your mom says, I want you to know that I was always grateful that you were in my life. You helped me in so many ways. I can't even tell. I'll tell you how many ways. She says, I was the one always grateful. I was the one blessed. And I'm the mom. And I'm so very proud of what you're doing in your life. Okay. I've watched you every day and I've been a proud mom. Okay. I need you to learn to let go of that pain now. And I'm sorry I gave that to you. I want you to do it the healthy way. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. She keeps saying I'm sorry. Okay. Do you live out in the country or something? Thank you guys for the gifts. We do, yes, sir. She says, pay attention to the blue jays or bluebirds, and she said the fox. I don't get the fox often. Okay. So that tells me when your mom was probably healthy and younger, she probably had like a playful um, personality, fun going. You know, if you think of a fox, they like to play. Thanks, guys, for the gifts. They like to go around and, you know, they're just playful little dogs, like what you want to call them, but they're just playful. And they, they kind of burrow and they, they, they stay out of drama. Okay. She's been wanting to leave the pennies and dimes for you. Dreams, yeah. been a dreamer, dreams. I have dreams every other week, at least. Because yeah, you're holding on to the pain that she's wanting. It's, this, she's been trying to get to you for a long time to tell you it's okay to let the let the pain go. 
Okay. That's what that's what the dreams are about. And I got a really sad image in my head. I see a mom holding a little girl's hand like they're walking. And then the mom, I don't know what happens, but the mom lets go. And the little girl is lost in the crowd of people and she can't find her mom. Hmm. I don't know what that has to I mean, I've lost, girl? I've lost two kids or two little girls like before they were born, but. but I think this is more for you. I think you're that little girl being lost. Okay. Does that make sense? It, I mean, so at a point, yeah. Everything else has definitely hit, though. I don't think it's literally what she's showing me. I think it's what she, she's trying to show me symbolically what that would mean to you. Okay, okay. Your mom was a pretty lady when she was younger. She's got dark brown hair medium length when she was younger it's kind of straight like yours you kind of comb it to the side or whatever does that make sense yeah that's exactly how it was your mom dressed dressed nice when she was younger thank you guys for the gifts like she dressed really super nice like, yeah, she, she was i see her wearing a blazer and a blouse is that yeah. your mom yeah, she dressed up when she was younger, before she had kids. I thank you guys for the gifts. Your biggest thing for you is that you forgive yourself, forgive her, and that, yeah, that you can move on and be happy. She's saying she lives in peace in heaven and she has a beautiful house up in the woods, but she's not alone. She's with family. Her mother and father, probably. So she was, and that's what she just said, the people that she, that she could not get over right. their death. Okay. And that was probably, I think, what also one of the reasons why that triggered her with her addiction. Okay. She just said, I just wanted to know I love her. I love her too. Keep seeing the ring. Do you have the ring? No, I have. I have her on my neck. What is it? That's my mom's ashes. Oh, her ashes. Okay, I thought I saw the ring. I'm sorry. It might be her high school ring. I do have her high school ring in my jewelry box. There's validation. Could be validation there. She was, I love you, baby. I, I hope you understand. I hope you understand now. Yes, thank you. She's leaving me goodbye. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. Did I help you? It, it did, because that's exactly what happened. She was prescribed pain medicine, and she took the Xanax and had accidental overdose. Yeah, there's no way at the beginning of the reading where she said the pain medicine. I didn't know that. There's no way. You can't find this stuff online. I just came out and how she said it. She goes, I need you to forgive me about the pain medicine. And I was prescribed pain medicine for 10 years. I've been clean four years now. So No, I'm sorry. So, yeah, so that's what she was telling you, that she wanted you to be healthy. And she was also proud of you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, because I blame myself. Every time I talk about her death, I blame myself. Because when I remember the morning before she passed, she wanted a Xanax. And I told her, like, just take it and overdose. You know, I'm not, I can't be your parent. And. I beat myself up about that all the time. I hope after today you can let that pain go and you can heal, you know, that your mom told you that. Does yes, that make sir. sense? It does. There's no way for me to know any of that. Now Correct. it's time to let that, the rest of that pain go and be happy. Now you can go back on your path. Okay. But just, it's not for you anymore, like your mom said. She's She worked with hers now. and She's okay. healthy. God all bless right. you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. And that was pretty powerful, you guys. You seen that bit, that reading? That was kind of crazy. So, at the very beginning, the mom just basically says, "I need, you to, I need you to forgive me about the pain medicine." 
and I don't. Sometimes I'll double check with spirits when they say certain words. So she, when the spirit says it the second time, I know it's the truth. So I'm like, all right, I gotta say it out there. And I threw it out there, and that was what she needed to hear. That. Um, so yeah, readings are what we need, not what we want to hear. So that that girl, she's held on to that her mom's cross for that long, and now she's today she's able to hopefully let go of that that pain and move on with her own healing. So that was pretty. That was pretty intense. It was pretty interesting to watch. I'm glad that she got that reading. All right, you guys, make sure you guys follow me. I do a lot of free readings on Sundays over the radio on my TikTok show, and then on here at some, like 7 p.m. Mountain Time on here. So I do a lot of those on here. Also, if you guys are interested in a private reading with me, um, just message me under my bio. There's a link. Click it. I can schedule a reading with you. A half hour, 65 an hour is 125. I only do free readings when I'm doing lives, not when people don't. When people message me, I, I just ignore those because it's not fair for the people that are trying to get readings on here or on my other face, my other social media. Give me one second here. Let's see who the next person is. We mute it, babe. Hey, Paul. Hello, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. And um, have I done a reading for you before? No, you never have. But I yeah. wanted to say, there's a girl in the comments. Her name is Skylar Strong 7 and she was on the list before me and she got kicked out. I don't know if you know how to bring people on. Like, I just, I feel I rude. Okay. No, I don't know. She's going to have to keep trying. It's, it's okay. out of my hands I when that things happen. Because there's a list. And when I, there have been times where I've been, I've done that before and it took other people off when I was trying to scroll down. So I, won't, I can't do that anymore. Okay. I won't do that. I, just, I, I, just I really felt bad and that did happen. Huh? Let her have her turn back. Okay. Um, so I do have one more question. Um, I want to connect with my best friend. And my my best friend that's living is here, and her best friend is also dead. I live in Oklahoma, and she lives in California. And I've tried to someone... get on your list a million times, and we're actually both together. So I was going to see if we could both connect to our best friend. Yeah, I can do one reading, though. Okay. So she's going to have to try to get on another time, unless it's the same person. Oh, okay. All right. That's okay. Thank you. I just thought I'd ask. Okay. I'll be in there. You guys go on. Okay. What's, um, what's your first name? Uh, my first name is Courtney. And then who's your best friend's name? Her name is Amber. Her last name? Hilberling. Oops. Say it one more time. Hilberling. Hilberling with a K? Yeah. Hilberling. Hilberling. H-I-L-B-E-R-L-I-N-G. Oh, Hilberling. Did I say it right? You did. Okay. So, sorry for your loss with your friend. How long has it been since she crossed over? Um, It was six years in October. Okay, give me one second. Her death was unexpected as well. It was quick. Towards the end, like was what she tells me, like right towards the end. Is that right? Yeah. Does she tell you how she died or no? Sometimes they'll show me or they'll tell me. It's a lot of times they won't unless I ask them. Um, okay. I just go with what they tell me as a medium, unless there's something about it, then they'll tell me more. Was there something you have a question about? Um. Yeah. I do. What is it? Um, but you got to be careful. If it's one of those things you both have the same answer, it could ruin re uh, the reading. Because in heaven, it's testing the spirit. They'll shut me down. And it's not me. It's them. Okay. So um, the prison ruled it a suicide, but I don't, I don't believe that. Was this like some kind of asphyxiation where she couldn't breathe? Mm -hmm. She was hung to a bunk bed, but if she stood up, she was taller than the spot she was hung from.
Yeah, somebody did this to her. I knew that. I knew. I what knew it, but the prison, the, the autopsy. It was a male. Was okay. Yeah, she's she's a trans. She um he she's a female transitioning to a male in the prison. Yeah. So she's in a female unit. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this was this was all hate motivated. And it was covered. Like I the word I get the word covered up because she this she had enough. She keeps saying I, I didn't do this to myself. I had yeah. so much going for me. I was ready to get out soon. I was ready. She keeps saying I was ready. She had hope. Good. Yeah, she knew she was getting out. Doctor Phil was working with her, so it it made no sense for you know she had a lot to look forward to. There's another reason why this officer did that to her because he was trying to shut her up. Yeah, I know. I know. There's Thank more you. to that story. You understand that? Yeah, I do. They would put a dog muzzle on her and walk her around the prison yard. Well, that's against the law. I know. And there's no videos of that? And the, the video in her cell was broken. I used to work in a jail died. for like 19 and a half years and, I'll, and I mean, I haven't been to the academy. So like these cover-ups like that, I don't understand how they can get away with that without having somebody go in there. I don't either. But um, once Dr. Phil found out, um, he even quit talking to us. Like he stepped away. He didn't want anything to do with it. You know, well, like it, it even scared him um, looking into what happened to her. She said that it did hurt a little bit. She's not going to lie, but she doesn't want people to linger on that. She was more in shock during the death than anything else, but it was quick. Because she, she keeps talking about asphyxiation. Yeah. Um, they hung her with a straightening iron cord to the bunk bed. There's no way for me to be able to do that. I know. I know. And her son, my son and her son are best friends. And he'll live forever with people saying that she ended her life. You know, that with him thinking that she didn't want to stay alive for him. Like, she lost hope. And she's, she's already, like, she's already called a murderer because she went to prison for accidentally pushing her husband out the 25th floor of their condo. And he fell to his death. And that's why she was in prison. So... Now she think he he's gonna think his mom killed his dad and then killed herself because she had too much regret when that's not true. I'm seeing um, posters and things for her, like people stood up and did a protest or something. People are are does that make sense? They're yes. trying to get awareness. Yes. And she's very great. She keeps saying I'm grateful for that because I see an image of that happening and I see her behind yes. me like this and she's smiling. She goes, "Tell him I'm thankful." Yeah, she's welcome. She says, thank you for fighting for me. I always will. When you fought for me, you're fighting for other transgender people, she said. Thank you. It's just a sad thing because she's a human being. Yeah. This, there's some sick people in this world. There's evil, And I tell this people all the time on this line on here. I've met some evil people. I've met some evil spirits that, you know, that pretended to be nice. People that you think are nice are not always nice. There's evil out there. Right. She visits you through music a lot, and then she says she touch, she likes to turn off your TV. <laughs> or something with the TV, sense. turn it on and turn it off. I got chill. She says, I'm always going to be behind you. And she goes, I'm always going to stand to fight you, fight for you every day. She goes, I am, I am the one proud. She goes, you, you, this could have been swept under the rug even more, but you keep bringing it up. You're letting people know. Showing the light.
she's she, I see her as a female in heaven. I don't see her as a transgendered person, which would make no, sense because the, I was person, told that like when when we like no, some the person spirits, that murdered her, the person that murdered her was transgender. And who's this person? The, the person is that per- a female jumping in? Do what? There's another female jumping in. Who's the one with the dark brown hair? Is this her? That could be my best friend's best friend that I asked you about reading about. Our best friends from the other side brought us together. So does this girl have dark brown hair, kind of wavy? Yeah. (laughs) Her name's Jojo, if that helps. Oh, yeah, she's really, she came in quick and she's gone. She goes, I just want everybody to know that I'm doing okay. Just tell them it's me. I'm the one that's dropping SH. All okay. And people know it's me. I'll tell her. She's dropping things, laying around. She's dropping things. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the, your friend, this girl that you're talking about, has got light brown hair, medium length. Yes. This girl's wears on tank top. Oh, my God, keeps scratching me. So uh, th- I, I don't want to be like top. rude. She has really big boobs. She had a boob job. So. Oh, in heaven, they don't. That's an ego thing. So oh. she's probably back to where she was. <laughs> oh, I was say, that's probably why she's wearing a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, I think when girls um, have the, those procedures, I don't think it goes with them in heaven because everybody looks yeah, shiny. Probably... They won't need that extra, you know, that extra push. Right. Because <laughs> I've never seen them up there with that, you know. <laughs> she wants you to do, to keep telling, just tell her kids that she's with them and she's not leaving them, that to, to remind them that she's, that to thank you to fight, to keep fighting for her too. I will. He's he's the best part of his mom and dad. You know, there's a lot of news articles out there that says a lot of bad shit about both of them. And I he will only know the good from me. Give me one second. You are a, mem- uh, a, a necklace in her memory or something, something with a, a necklace with a memory, correct? Yes. And then she said that you made something cute, like an ornament or something for her one time. I don't, does that yes. make sense? Yes. I'm, I just want her to know that I'm doing okay not to worry. I'm happy now. Thank you. She says she lives up on a ranch, so I don't know if it's her, like she wanted a ranch or she's family's ranch, but she says she lives up on a ranch in heaven. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. There are dogs running around her. Three. I keep keeping three. She goes, I love you, bestie, and she's waving goodbye. I love you too, Hamburger. Thank you so much, Paul. I really, I appreciate it. And again, I already, you know, I knew that I knew what happened. And I just, thanks for, you know, double checking. Does that validate everything for you? It does. Yeah, the other girl that was jumping with the dark brown hair, that kind of threw me off a little bit. Yeah, I'll I'll tell her she's in there with my kids right now. I just, I figured that would happen. I mean, she lives in California and we only get to see each other. Every few months we met here on TikTok. So when I got, when I actually got on the live this time, I was like, what, what are the odds? Let's see if this can happen. So she'll be excited that Jojo came through. Awesome. Well, thank you for allowing me to do this. Appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, Paul. Thank you guys. I never know what my readings are going to be. You guys, every time I do a reading, it's something different every time. The same. 
It could be just an ordinary grandma reading, or it could be something like this, you know, an, un, like some kind of unsolved murder. Um, it, or it could just be, you know, like the one before the mom came through mm -hmm. and came out through my mouth saying she's sorry about the, the, the pain medicine. I don't, I don't know my readings. That's, you know, I never know how these are going to go. It's every, everybody's got a different story that they want to come through to deliver that healing message to people. Let's see here. Thank you. Hi, hi, Paul. How are you doing? Good. How are you? My name's Charles White. Hello, Charles. I can't see you yet. Is there a way you can get on live? Jesse, I'm not on live. Yes, I can. Hang on a minute. All right. What? I'm not on live, he said. I'm here. Oh, my camera shut off. Is your camera on? Thank you guys for the gifts. So if you read on here, Paco says click multi-guess, then edit, then camera. Oh. So I think you have to do it that way. Multi-guess, edit, multi camera. Multi-guess. Or is your camera on? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we take it out of my... There you go. I see you. Okay. Hello. Hi, Paul. Hi. My name's Charles White. Hi, Charles. How are you? Uh, all right. So, Charles, who would you like me to connect with today? My father. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss. What was his name? Charlie White. Senior? Okay. Yes. So, is it, how long has it been? Do you remember how long it's been since he's passed? Uh, 2007. Okay. So, Charlie, when I do connect with your dad, um, he's going to look young, okay? He won't look like you remember him. And he's yeah. going to look really healthy and happy. And that's how I'm going to see him when I, when I deliver that message, okay? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, give me one moment. Let me see if I can connect with him. Your dad's death was kind of quick. He never got to say goodbye to you the way he wanted to. Yes, it was. Your dad's saying he's sorry. He couldn't control that. <laughs> he wants you to know how much he loves you. He goes, tell my son I love him very much. I love him too. He said he's visited you in the dream or dreams, so I don't know if you're getting them because you might be still mourning your dad. When we mourn our, our loved ones, it's hard for them to get through that we're not seeing him, but they, they do come through. But he did tell me also that um, he's visited you in your bedroom, like the lights flickered at one point. Does that make sense to you? Uh, yes, they did a couple times here. Okay. That's your dad saying he was there. <laughs> Did your dad make noises sometimes with his finger, like like you know how people strum on like on paper or something, just go like that? Yes. Do you hear that still after he died? Uh, so, so I hear noise. I will say that here and there. Okay, that's your dad probably because he was just validating that he does this sometimes. He goes, if you listen, sometimes you might hear him doing that with his hands, like he used to do. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah. Your dad wants you to know how proud he is of you because you took on so much after he died. And it, it was really hard for you. you there's so much things like you had a lot of questions and 
you know, and he just says, I want him to know that I'm okay now, that I love him, that, that I'm not in no pain. He worries that I'm in pain all the time. I'm not in no pain. He goes, son, I don't want you to always remember me how I died because it hurts you. I want you to remember me how I lived. How I loved you, took care of you. Your dad, um, you look a lot like your dad. He does wear a hat. Look, your hair, I think his hair might be a little bit darker than yours. It's a little bit, you know, medium length for like yours, similar to yours, you know, a little bit dark, long, and he does have facial hair. You guys would look like yes, twins almost. Yes. Was that your dad? He did have black hair. Yeah, that's him then. The darker hair. But he looks like he's in his 20s when I see him. That's how I see yeah. him. Really young. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm in my 42, so. Well, you're still young. Yes, I know, brother. Did your dad like to drive trucks or something? He liked to drive pickup trucks, yeah. Chevys and Fords. That's what I'm seeing. So uh, when I the vision I got with him, I was at the vision. I was like sitting like next to him in a truck, and I seen him driving the truck. Does that make sense? And, uh, yes, and we had a one ton international one ton that used to be on the property we used to own. He's good. Yeah, we just we sat up together, nice me and my dad. Oh, wow. So that's validation right there for you. Yeah. Yeah. That, we we got it right running. Now. We got it running everything together. Me and my dad did everything for cars together. So that's so that validates you right there that he was like, he's saying that he, that was one of his favorite memories was with you in that car. I mean, in that truck with you. That's yeah. what I was seeing. Then that's got to be the black Chev and the green, the green box Chev pickup truck. He says, every day I'm going to be with you. I'm not going to leave you. He goes, but he I goes, I don't want you to worry about Christmas because I'll be there for Christmas. Cause he goes, I know how much you mean that means to you. He goes, I'm not going to leave you for Christmas. I will be there. He goes, he's laughing. He goes, save me a seat. He's laughing because I know you will. Your dad wants you to try to be really strong for him and to help and to help the family out. Does that make sense? You, he goes, you're doing a good job. He's proud of you. He goes, keep doing that. I'm very proud of you, son. You take, he goes, you're taking up that job. He goes, thank you. Give me one second. Your dad lives up in the country. He says he's got all the animals he's ever wanted. He's happy there. Like he's got all yeah, these animals. But, yeah, huh? my grandfather used to own farms back in the day. 13 farms at one time. Oh, wow. So maybe your dad enjoyed some of that. That's, so he has that, you know, those that stuff up in heaven, all those animals yeah. in the country. Yeah. You have your dad's hat. One of his hats. You keep getting hat. Is that true? I uh, no, I don't. Okay. okay. You don't have your dad's hat? He didn't give you a hat? No, I didn't it's get okay. a hat. It's all right. It might come to you later. I don't know. I'm just getting what he's told me. I thought he, he must have thought you had a hat. No, I know. I know. I wonder, it could have been a cowboy hat a while, a long time ago when I was a kid. So that's probably what it was. Just, all I got was it was a hat. That's how we yeah, said it. I, and yeah, he bought me a cowboy hat when I was young. Okay, yeah, so there's validation there then. Yeah, yeah. Your dad says he doesn't want you to worry so much, but it's okay for you to talk to him every day. He's always going to be there to listen to you. He's going to watch over you and your mom and everybody. Because I'm always there watching over everybody. Just tell him I love him. 
You got anything you want to say to him before he goes? Yes. Is he with his uh, two sisters and his mother and father? He goes, oh, yeah, we're all taking care of each other. We're up here on that ranch, son, not to worry. We're all having a good time. Don't worry. We're always checking on you. He goes, don't worry. He goes, you'll be up here with us soon. Not too soon, he said, but soon you will. He goes, I love you. He goes, I'm proud of you. He goes, you take care of yourself now. Talk to me later. Love him, dude. Huh? I love him, dude. I'm sorry. Losing somebody is really hard. It's not easy. But I know that pain too well. We all have to know. Unfortunately, we get stuck with that down here. Yeah, well, after his death, I went downhill. I know. And it takes I, a part I of our heart, my, and we're never the same. I picked my own self up now. I'm clean up. I've heard chemicals for 10 years this January. Oh, good for you. God bless you. That, I, you know what? I did it on so my proud own. Of you, I bet. That's why he keeps saying he's proud of you. Yeah, I did it on my own with my dog I had to put down last year. I'm sorry. Because he got really sick. Well, I bet, I get, bet you that your dad is taking care of that dog in heaven. I guarantee it. Oh, I know he is. Yeah, he knows how much it means to you. But congratulations you. being sober for so long. Thank you very much, you. Paul. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Thank you very God much. God bless you. I hope you got God healed. bless you. you too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi there. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm sick, so hopefully this will oh, no. give me some. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that credit going around again. Yes. And what is your name? My name is Christy. Have I ever done a reading for you before? No. Okay. So, Christy, who would you like me to connect with? My mom. Sorry for your loss. How long has it been? It's been a long time. It, uh, the anniversary uh, it will be in a few days. It's 21 years. I lost so, her. Right I, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm sure your mom's going to tell you this, but they don't like us to remember them on, on their anniversary death. Because some people oh. will do that and they get, because what it does is we set a date for us to be sad in mourning when they don't like that. They want us to remember them how they live. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Thank she's probably going to tell you that. <laughs> what is her first and last okay. name? Her first name was Marjorie, and her last name was Carol. Marjorie Carol? Your mom is saying you need to start paying especially attention to the people that are in your life, especially there's a female that's in your her, your life right now. And your mom is not very fond of her. She's trouble. She keeps saying she's no good. Wow. Okay. She's got light brown hair. Mm. And she's always mouthy and sassy. That's how your mom said it. <laughs> she doesn't like her. <laughs> okay. She's just, your mom says she loves you and she's just looking out for you. She wants the best for you. She's always been that way, she said. That's the reason why I'm saying yeah. this. That's the reason why I'm saying that.
Your mom was alive. She used to always lay down the law, she told me. She goes, I'd always lay down the law. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She was feisty. (laughs) Your mom will let you know when she visits, if she doesn't like something that's going on or something that's where it's at, she's going to make a noise near that area or somewhere to let you know something. That's how she said it. There's going to be a noise. So that's how you know if you hear a weird noise or something falls or something, you know what I'm saying? Something making a noise. She says it's going to be her because that's how she's going to try to let you know she's not okay with certain things. You know. (laughs) Great. She was very particular about where things were and we used to tease her growing up like we would go and move things and she would move them back. (laughs) She's visited you in the dreams before. Yes. A lot. Oh, the crow. I love the crow because it's also my... Okay, everybody's got an animal totem. So she visits you as a crow. A crow would be either quiet or they're loud. The, the black of the crow would tell me that she's got a resilient side. Crows are very intelligent. Crows are... Um, they're, they call other birds to eat with them, which tells me she's not a selfish person. She might be a spiritual person because natives, natives believe that the, those are one of the birds that are between the creator and down here, the messengers. So We have Cherokee in our family. Okay, there you go. So yeah. just pay attention, listen to the crows when you're out quiet, and you'll you'll know if it's your mom. Yeah, they, they, you get crows coming around, but you'll know when a certain animal gets your attention. And just enough, just to know it's going to feel your mom before they go. Okay. Things have flown in your bedroom in the past for no reason. Yes. <laughs> She goes, she goes, that's my example of letting you know I didn't like something. That's how she said it. <laughs> Your mom comes to me in her, like in her 20s. She's got curly, wavy hair. Maybe like in the 70s. She's got this curly hair. Is that her? Yeah. She, like- uh, huh? I kind of like medium length curly brown hair. Yeah, um, it used to be really long, um, but she had a lot of hair and just like enough like natural, natural wave. So when she curled it, it looked like a lot, like yes. medium length, right? Okay. Yes. She's wearing this. I know it's totally the seventies because it's like a. Button up blouse and the collar goes really way out here. You can tell those colors they go out, you know. And the okay. style of the shirt is like really it fits her, her body perfectly. And um I'm trying to see the, the print on it. I can't really see the print. Um because I can't like if I'm seeing right here, I can see with my eyes, but when I'm looking, you know, in an in, in another dimension, what you want to call it, when I see them, I can't see um details, but I know what I'm seeing, it's like yellows. I want to look like it's flowers, maybe not, but it's got this, it's like a pattern somewhere. I don't know what, it's, what it is, though. Um, well, she was, I mean, she was born in 49, so, um, I mean, that would have been, like, in her 20s, her dressing, <laughs> like, that. That's so how they always show themselves yeah. in their 20s. Yeah. She's got a small dog with her. Brown and white, I think she said. She's got a dog with her. Yeah, she lives in the country as well. She lives next to her mom and dad. They live next to each other, with each other. She's happy there. I don't know if your mom liked horses or she had a horse. But I did oh, see a horse in this vision, uh, and we're, maybe that's just, I don't know why I'm seeing it, huh? She, they had a farm. They didn't have horses, um, but, uh, I mean, she used to paint horses. Oh, wow. Well, she's definitely riding a horse up there, I'll tell you that. 
Maybe that's what she wanted. Yeah. That's, that's her private heaven. She's got her horse now. Thank you guys for the gifts. Your mom's a busy buddy, so don't be surprised when you start seeing the um, hummingbird. She likes music. She likes to sing. She loved her family. She liked being outside. She enjoyed yeah. life. She did. What do you want to ask or say to your mom? Does she think I'm a good mom? I'm sorry, what's that? I'm sorry. She always wanted a grandchild, but I couldn't get pregnant in time. So she never got to meet my son. She goes, but I did. I've, 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 I have. And I still do. She goes, my body's not there, but I'm there. I'm watching over him all the time. Okay. I don't, I, want, I don't want you to be all worked up about how I died. I want you to remember me how I lived. Don't be taking things so hard on yourself. She goes, Mom, she goes, Mama's always here. You keep talking to me. I'm always going to be there. You know me. Yes, I love you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, guys, Matt. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys, that's how I do my readings. I get validation. If you guys want a reading with me, all you have to do is message me. Um, uh, you know my cartoon? Thank you guys for the gifts. My cartoon, there's um, my bio, click it, message me there, and I can schedule a reading with you. I'm getting off right now because I am drained right now. I've done readings during the, earlier today with my radio readings. My dog's got to use the bathroom. He's scratching the heck out of me. And um, I'm just tired. So um, make sure you guys follow me because I'm always doing free readings on Sundays. And um, I'm going to try to find some way of getting back on my Facebook to do more readings on there as well. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you guys. Thank you um, for all that you guys do. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, moderators, too, by the way. Uh, moderators, I, you guys are appreciated so much. I forget to do that every time I, I, I log off. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for helping me out so much. Thank you guys for the gifts and the taps. You guys are awesome.